Hey everybody, uh, I'm a little stressed right now. Um, today on Facebook, I came across this link, and apparently, the worldwide witch community is mobilizing to resist Donald Trump's agenda. They're planning on doing a binding spell on Donald Trump on February 24th, and I think this is extremely stupid. But anyway, I am going to let the computer read this for you. So just one moment. The worldwide witch community is mobilizing to resist President Donald Trump's agenda. According to Extra News Feed, magical groups have been circulating a document with instructions for putting a spell on Trump at the stroke of midnight on every waning crescent moon until he's no longer president. The first mass spell will take place on February 24th. To perform the DIY spell, participants need items such as an unflattering photo of Trump, a tower tarot card, an ashtray, or a dish of sand in a tiny stub of an orange candle. Real witches probably make their own, but store-bought is fine, too. It's worth noting that the spell won't bring harm to Trump only prevent him from doing harm to others. The witches who authored the spell said people can think of it as more of a mass art slash consciousness raising project, not unlike the supposed 1967 exorcism of the Pentagon, which they say ended the Vietnam War. If the spells don't succeed in ousting Trump, though, they promise it will at least relieve some anxiety and promote self-care or, as they call it, self-exorcism. Just performing the spell will result in a lightening of the spirit, an easing of tension and a banishing of the gnawing Trumpian egregore, they wrote. And who doesn't need that? All right. Now that you have read the article, um, it says that this will not harm Trump. Well, if you look at it on that aspect, okay, that's that's fine. But I do not know if it was the writer that said all this, or is it the people that are writing this spell? Because the one thing that... It says here, and this is one thing that bothers me, if the spells don't succeed in ousting Trump. Okay. If you are doing a binding spell, then all you are doing is restricting what he does. This has absolutely nothing with removing him from the presidency of the United States. So why is it there? So th that makes me wonder... Are the witches that wrote this, or is it this um, writer, Marie Solis? Because somebody is giving mixed messages here. And that's a problem. That's a major problem. You see, there's a friend of mine. He made a video, and he was talking about you had to have a clear message of intent. A unified message of intent. Uh, back when they were going to have Desert Storm, a group of witches got together and they tried to have a spell for a quick ending of the war. They were hoping for no war whatsoever, but if it was going to happen, that it was quick and over with. Well, sure enough, you know, the war was over quickly. Uh, the U.S. walked in and they achieved some of the goals really early. But the problem here is those witches that try to do this spell could not get a single agreed upon intent message. What happened? Look at the long, long um, occupation that U.S. soldiers had and still basically have in Iraq. We have lost a lot of men in Iraq and so this is a direct result of mixed intent messages. So they are wanting all these people from the worldwide witch community to join together and cast a spell. Well, we all know for a fact that there's going to be so many different intent messages. Certain people are more upset than others with Donald Trump. And there we go with the mixed message, mixed intent and so we're not going to get the desired unified results that we wanted. There's also a thing called spell failure, where you do, don't do something right and you get mixed messages. 
magic is a finicky little thing, you have to specify in great detail what your results are, what your what you're wishing is, or you're not going to get it. You could get something completely different. There was a story that I was taught a couple of years ago. There was a young lady who wanted plastic surgery. She wanted a this plastic surgery because she wasn't feeling that she was pretty enough. She was trying to figure out all the ways to do this. This was her wish. Well, she didn't do things right and she got in, she was either in a car wreck or in a house fire and she needed plastic surgery to fix her face. Okay, the message has to be right. The skill of these people perform these spills has to be good because we could have splatter effect and negative effect on the on this idea we could literally silence the people that are keeping Donald Trump in check you know we have those judges out there that have told you know Trump you can't do your travel ban we have to be thankful for people like that well if we don't do the spell right we could silence them. We could remove one of the checks and balances that keeps Trump back. We could silence somebody like Elizabeth Warren. We could silence somebody like Bernie Sanders. So this mass spell idea is wrong. And so if you keep looking, you know, I put some other things up there. And this is bothering me because all these witches, especially these Wiccan witches, they love to do binding spells. But, you know, I want to put this little part up here uh, talking about binding spells, and I'll continue a little bit later on my problems. Binding spells. Binding spells are the most serious magic that a witch can cast. Bindings can come in many different forms. The most common are cord bindings. Bindings can be either permanent or temporary. Both forms of binding spells are considered bad magic. This is because their sole purpose is to remove the free will of the target. This is nothing more than slavery. Most witches agree that binding spells should be a last resort if used at all. A great deal of thought should be put in before doing a binding. Try thinking of all other possible solutions that you can do to resolve your problem. Binding spells are used to bind, or hold, things. The usual reason for this is to bind a person or spirit to prevent it from doing damage to yourself, someone else, or itself. Care must be taken when binding spirits since they will almost always bind to the caster, and you must have a plan for it after it is bound. However, if you are skilled enough to cast a binding spell you will also be skilled enough to handle any bound spirits. Binding spells are any kind of magic that you use to force your will on someone, usually to stop them from doing something. Binding them up makes them powerless. Okay, now, you heard all this. They're saying that serious magic, that by binding them you're taking away somebody's free will. Now, there's the hypocritical fashion here. People are upset with Donald Trump because they're thinking that he is oppressing them, that he's enforcing his policies on them, that he's not listening to them. People are afraid that they're going to lose their ability to live their life, to have the freedoms that they have now. Okay, but what are, is, are all these witches wanting to do? Take away his freedom. So let's bind him, let's you know, make him a slave. All right, so as this says, it's serious magic. You know, it's binding spells are used to bind, to hold things. It's to prevent somebody from doing something that you don't want them to do. And so that right there is a perspective problem because some of the things that you don't want him to do might be some things that others want to do. And we are supposed to live in a democracy and, you know, it just sounds like some people are only wanting it their way and they're going to go to the extreme ends to achieve it. Now, 
How would you feel if somebody was to suppress you? You would complain and all that about it. But here it is. You have no problems with wanting to suppress Donald Trump. Yes, Donald Trump is a negative influence on humanity. And there is a lot of things to be concerned about with Donald Trump. But that is why the United States government has all these checks and balances. So we have to make sure that we use all our other options before we decide that we're going to make Donald Trump a slave, as what these little things are about by need spells say. You know, we want to have our freedoms, but are, is, are we any better if we take away somebody else's freedoms? So, that's a lot to think about. So everybody, um, ponder this. I would love to have your responses. I know I'm going to make a lot of people angry because, you know, a lot of people do not like Donald Trump. He is a bad president. But you have to have a code of ethics. You have to have that line. And if you're going to complain about other people oppressing you, who are you to oppress others? All right. Take care. Be at peace. Now, there is one more thing I want to add to this. And this is something that I have never understood with the love of doing binding spells that the Wiccan community just loves to do. A binding spell is connecting yourself to a person. Um, by creating a binding spell, I am basically taking a rope, a spiritual rope, and tying around somebody else. And that person is going to be connected to me because I have this rope right here. And I'm saying that you can't do anything. And whenever they do, I can take my little rope and no, you're not. No, you're not. That is what a binding spell is. Like that one comment that, I sh that one I showed up, it's a cord binding. And you literally taking a hand because you're basically like tying their hands together. All right. You are constantly putting your energy out to hinder this person into doing something that you find wrong. How many of you want to be bound to Donald Trump? I don't. So this spell idea, I think, is wrong. Do we want millions and millions of people binding themselves to Donald Trump? Um, I mean, let's forget about the fact that, you know, it, it binds his will. We're suppressing him. We're taking away his freedom. Do you want to say that there's a little bit of you connected to Donald Trump? Think about that.